So hi all, I decided to remove the cap that sealed the two sides of the compressor, some oil jumped out because there was some pressure. Now when I think about it, I guess that this pushes the oil from here and it get back to here. Why do I think so? I'm not sure, we will test it now, because there is a filter here. And I think that this filter is filtering uh, the back of the oil to the system. Yeah, I'm not sure, maybe I'm talking nonsense, but I think that this is some kind of uh, filter to protect uh, the motor from things in the oil that can ruin the compressor. So let's connect it back. And I guess that we will see some of the oil coming out and going uh, to the inside. Let's see. Maybe we will not see anything. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not checking it. So I will connect now the power. Aha. And I don't see any oil yet. But I think that the RPM will get higher and higher. Hmm. Interesting, no oil out, but there is oil in the motor, yeah? So I don't know, so next thing is to remove this out, we'll have some pressure for sure, no, not much, and now check it again. Now I will see which side is pushing air out, yeah, this is pushing air out. And this is sucking, you hear? Sucking her in, and this is pushing the air out. Okay, so as I thought, this is the entrance. Probably there is some, the filter is protecting uh, the motor not to get oil with maybe metal or other parts that can ruin the motor. So now we will put back the cups. I see different sides of cups. Yeah, this is for this side. And this is for the other side. Now I can't remove it. Whoa, it's stuck so much. Okay, maybe I will cut it. We'll cut this part, <laughs> non-removable part. Yeah. Still some pieces. Now we'll protect this motor, this compressor. And yeah, now I need to build all the system to weld everything, the copper pipe and yeah, capillar and other things that will make it to cool. So now we know this is the outside and this is the inside. And by the way, I could guess it because the diameter here is bigger than here. And the low is that you push in a narrow, uh, narrow out or narrow diameter the gas and it is changing the pressure from high pressure to low pressure. And the low pressure is going back and I didn't notice that the diameter of this one is bigger than this one. Okay, so thank you all for now.